Okay, so I was really trying to be cute for y'all. End of the year, fun, best of 2021 video. New Year's, sparkles, blah, 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 but it's not staying. But I do want it to be known that I put in a solid effort. Okay, plain Jane it is. Hi, welcome, what's up, how are you? We are at the end of the year. I cannot believe I am doing best of beauty 2021. Like, what happened? Where'd the year go? COVID's still here, yes she is, still present, great. We are here, okay? Best of beauty 2021, and I'm ready to film. I've got, I'm not doing any specific category like, oh, top three this, blah, blah, blah. Fun video, great, but I've got what I thought was just purely the best of this year. Some products more than others, like some categories I've got more products than others. Some I may not even have a product for the category, whatever. Not my fault. If I didn't think it was the best, I'm not going to show you. Only the best for you, girl. Only the best. But I also wanted to say that I'm not exactly sure on exactly, exactly when these products came out. I'm 99% sure most of them came out this year, but if not, sorry about it. I am going to say these are the best of beauty 2021 as well as the best of the beauty that I stumbled upon in 2021. Huh? Huh? See how I sideswiped that? Well, that wasn't released in Mm-hmm. I came upon it in 2021, okay? So we're gonna squash that bug right now, all right? If you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe and join me for next year, 2022. We are all things happy and positive and holly jolly here. And you know what? Let's just dive right into this video because it may be kind of lengthy. Lots of good products. First product that I have, I am going to go in with a primer. This is Drugstore. By the way, it is a mixture of Drugstore and High End. Um, we are going to go in with the Wet n Wild, go in with. <laughs> the best primer that I thought approached us this year is from Wet n Wild, and it is the Impossible Primer. As you can see, I've got a pretty solid dent in there. This is silicone free, which is absolutely fantastic. And what I love about this primer is I truly did notice a difference in the in how long my makeup lasted this is something that i use on the daily and i don't feel bad about it because it is inexpensive four or five dollars it is silicone free and all the things that a blurring filter affecting pore filling primer can do this does and it doesn't cost you an arm and a leg and your makeup lasts longer than from what i've noticed my other primers that i've used so i'm seeing a dramatic difference and you're not spending bukus of money silicone free this is like a game changer in inexpensive makeups this can go in the drawer with all your high-end products i'm telling you it'll fit right in if not it's going to do you even better this primer is my number one for the year in going out fancy bougie nights to my day-to-day -day wear wet and wild killed it this year in the primer category Woohoo! Go wet and wild. If you haven't tried this primer, you need to get it. It's fabulous. I like it better. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me, but I like it better than the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Sorry. But it is fabulous, and I think it's even less expensive than the e.l.f. Primer. So, good job, wet and wild. Let's keep it moving. If you think I'm talking fast, it's because I am, because we got a, we got a bit to go through, okay? Okay. Really quickly, I did want to do an honorable mention because I just now, like, my eye literally, like, glanced across it and caught it, and I think that was on purpose. Like, I need to mention this. Um, NYX, bear with me. This primer slash sunscreen, I, if you've been watching me, you already know I mentioned this so many times during the summer for my day-to-day -day looks, for going out to the pool with minimal makeup, for going on summer date nights, whatever the case may be, I was always like, put this on, you've got your skincare, your sunscreen, and a fantastic primer. So I do wanna mention this. It's drugstore, you're getting 2.5 fluid ounces and your sunscreen. So this is really, I know I mentioned it a lot during the summer, but wear it year round, it will last you. Great primer, it's not blurring, as much as the Wet n Wild, 
but it does help your makeup last. You've got your sunscreen, getting your skincare taken care of. This primer is a great choice for your day-to-day -day inexpensive sunscreen, feel-good skin care primer. This one is it. So this is definitely in my best of beauty 2021 picks as well. Now let's move on to one of my favorite categories all the year long for all the years that we have been together. Foundations. Y'all know I love a good foundation whether it's full coverage, medium coverage, skin tints. I've got a few foundations so I am going to zoom past them. My first one, y'all we gotta give it and this isn't like my number one to my least favorite. These are all my favorites. I'm just kind of grabbing no specific order. We're giving it up for Glow Wish by Huda Beauty. This is the best foundation. It's a skin tint. It does carry coverage. This is nothing like a Glossier skin tint. You're going to get coverage from this and you're also going to get a beautiful amount of, of glow and dew and sheen. If you want that fresh Sunday morning. I'm awake and I'm refreshed and I'm just happy. Where's my pancakes and coffee? Look, mm -hmm. you're going to get that with this. You're just going to be glowing and cheeks radiant. This is beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. I know not everybody was obsessed with it. Some people loved her pressed powder. I wasn't a big fan of it. I am a big fan of this. This one is in the shade Light 03 and clearly it has been used. It is a multi-dew skin tint and when it says dew, it means glow, it means radiance. It's beautiful. Next product is a skin tint that actually replaced, not replaced, I still use, but has edged over in my opinion the Glossier skin tint that we all know and love. I have got to give it up to MAC for their new Studio Radiance Face and Body Sheer Foundation. I love this. I use it on the daily even though I shouldn't because it's not very you know wallet friendly. It is so beautiful though. It's got just a beautiful not as much do as the Glowish but it's a nice everyday glow. Why do I always drop stuff? Every time, every time. Has anyone kept track of how much I drop things? Let me know the count at where I'm at down below. So the beauty of this product is you're getting a nice, soft, everyday glow. Not too, too glowy, not glammy glowy, but nice, vibrant. I'm awake and I'm refreshed. I got a really good eight hours worth of sleep last night, even though we really didn't. <laughs> but what gets me with this, that this just doesn't quite do, is you are getting a bit more coverage. And the thing is, this is sheer, but if you pop this in your hand, rub those hands together, rub your fingers together, you're going to like magically get more coverage. It like, it rubs together and you just it's like you're building coverage as you're rubbing it together when if you need more coverage or want more coverage that's exactly what you do rub your hands together and just use your fingertips and you will have a nice amount of coverage it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look like you put on a thick amount of foundation it just looks like more coverage than absolutely nothing the more it's more than just a sheen so these from mac are absolutely beautiful and it is face and body Love these. Definitely, definitely one of the best skin tints of 2021 and, and beyond. The next product, this is from RCMA. This is one of those products where I'm not sure if it came out this year or later, but I stumbled across it this year, earlier in the year, and I am absolutely obsessed with this foundation. This is more of a fuller coverage than the Lawless Conceal the Deal, but I definitely have to mention this because of the whole experience that I have had with this product, from purchasing it, to using it, to seeing the aftermath on my face, on my skin, to the compliments that I got on my makeup from wearing this. So when you go online, once again, I just dropped it. I'm, I just, I give up. When you go online to purchase this product, it explains their, the color range and the shades so clearly to a T. Like it explains the undertones and it explains the letters and numbers on the bottle. Like what you've picked, it's going to tell you exactly what color you're getting and exactly what undertones are in this. I mean, you're, you know the color of the foundation you're getting. I mean, look at that. 
perfect. This is the most perfect I have ever matched my foundation ever, ever, including when going into stores because they were just so clear on what I was purchasing, what shade I was purchasing, made it so worth it. I felt very confident when I purchased this product and then it gets here and the consistency of this is more creamy. It's a thicker, creamier product than say the NARS Soft Matte or the Too Faced Undetectable. This is more liquidy, like it will run down your face and you better be quick enough to catch it before it drops on your white shirt. This is more of a thicker cream, not mousse, but a cream. And it absolutely lays into your skin like butter. Like absolute butter, I kid you not. It just melts so flawlessly. I have never seen a product melt the way this one melts in your skin. And it's full coverage, but it does not look cakey. I mean, it, it just goes into your skin and that's a wrap. You look beautiful and flawless and you're, it's amazing. I cannot with how perfect this one is. Once again, I would disclaim, I don't know when this came out. I stumbled across it this year. That's why it's getting mentioned. Okay, please, if you have not tried this, you need to try it. Moving on. Okay, Best of Beauty 2021. Let's keep it moving. Concealer you're up the first thing um lancome the all over concealer enough said it's beautiful it is thick it is creamy it is buttery it is flawless for your under eyes especially if you've got those little bitty fine lines that are annoying that you think like ruin your makeup but only you can really see and the makeup kind of settles in it and it bothers you um this will fix that okay this will fix that. It is the all over concealer and it is absolutely beautiful. It is a perfect concealer for your under eyes. Of course, I use it everywhere to brighten my T-zone as well as to fix the under eyes, the creasing, the tired look that you get. This will fix that. This will erase the lack of sleep that you got and make it look like you had a beautiful, wonderful Cinderella sleep. <laughs> Even when you didn't, this stuff is fabulous. And then the other concealer, it's a little bit lighter. Not as thick, not as creamy, but it's still a beautiful concealer. This is the Fenty Beauty Concealer. This is their Bright Fix Eye Brightener Concealer. And you can use this also to brighten your T-zone, which I do. But it is made for your under eyes to give you that bright, wide-eyed, fake awake look that we all know and love here in the beauty community. This is the stuff for it. And the shade range for this is so beautiful. The undertones, they've got the peach undertones, they've got the neutrals, they've got, and I know that sounds like a very basic, like, well, yeah, all concealers do. But this hits every, like, color corrector that you need. They've got all the shades for that. It's a color corrector and a concealer in one. And it is so flawless. So beautiful. I love the tip, the applicator. It looks like it's a glass ball and it just makes the application process so smooth and flawless and then it blends out like a buttery dream. It's beautiful. So once again, not as heavy or as thick as the Lancome, but it is absolutely beautiful. Great for those lighter everyday wears. This is the perfect concealer these are my top two for 2021. Next up, let's do a little bit of setting powder. I feel like setting powder gets underestimated, but this year they came out with a lot of good products, a lot of good setting powders. And I got to say, I need to start with Kosas. Their Cloud Set setting powder is, like the name couldn't be more perfect because like cloud. That's how I would describe this setting powder. I've got the shades Feathery, and then I've got the shade Comfy. Comfy is more my skin tone. Feathery is more, it's lighter, but it's great for that under eye, fake awake, bright eyed look. That's what I use mostly. It is absolutely so soft and veil-like on your skin. It just gives it that nice blur as well as a slight sheen, a slight pearlescent glow, if you will. It's so stunning and it's 
it's kind of foolproof you really can't go wrong a little bit goes a long way and a plus that i have noticed about the kosis is you don't need like you can use this all day and it's not going to cake up it's not going to build say around your nooks and crannies around your nose or your smile lines forehead lines you can continuously keep this in your pocketbook with a small powder brush or a something to kind of blot with and it doesn't build up and make your makeup look worse throughout the day it helps your makeup throughout the day which is such a plus with this setting powder love the kosis matter of fact let me just set a little bit right now it just goes on so smooth and gives that blurred look it's amazing this setting powder is absolutely one of my top favorites this is an amazing setting powder I use it on the daily for work for going out for everything the next setting powder slash foundation is from Dior this is from their Dior backstage collection which I love that line and this is their face and body powder no powder setting powder it's a lot of powders this formula is absolutely so smooth and buttery it's one of those to where it's like am i even putting it on but you know you're putting it on because your skin all of a sudden just looks flawless magical filtered it's perfect this setting powder is beautiful i absolutely love it it's pearlescent it's got the sheen the shine that is so skin like like a natural glow it's not overdone it doesn't look too glam price wise i wouldn't say use it every day but it's just got that nice glow that it can pass for an everyday look and you can also glam it up as well by adding more and building the coverage on it it is so beautiful i've got to say like this is such a beautiful setting powder i'm obsessed with it i love it I, I wear it all the time like i can't with how perfect they nailed this setting powder i'm obsessed and not to mention the packaging is so bougie and cute and just it's precious this is definitely on my repurchase list Ooh, let's move on to some bronzer and some contouring I have mentioned this first one Kosas just did a really good job this year I'm just gonna say that um that gives it away the Kosas bronzers these are so so beautiful I use these on the daily I cannot like explain how perfect these are i had the shade medium which i do use that more often than the other one which is the shade deep now these do have this one is deep clearly and this one is medium these do have a nice sheen slash glow to them it's not glitter chunks it's just a very nice finely milled powder that's almost creamy even and i've got it on today and it just melts so perfectly into your skin I've got the medium on and then what I do is I'll take the medium and I will use a big fluffy bronzer brush and I mean big like a big fluffy bronzer brush do the classic three on my face on both sides and then I will take a smaller kind of more shaped brush not as fluffy a little more dense and I will go in with the medium and I will add that into the center of the bronze which gives it that nice contoured sharpened look it is so beautiful both of these together and the deep is too dark for me to use as a bronzer but like I said once I use it to contour it's absolutely perfect the comb like I've been using this combination for so long I'm obsessed with these bronzers these are like on the repurchase list whoa how many times the, the next bronzer that I have is a cream bronzer this is new this year of, of course uh, I don't know why I said that this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills this is their cream bronzer this one is in the shade golden tan you can see there's a nice nice little dent in there I love this color because it's almost my skin color so it gives that contour that we all 
are looking for. Not a line, but a shadow. The colors that they created with this formula make the perfect, is your face really that contoured or are you wearing makeup? Like the question is there because the shade range that they created is so perfect to match people's skin tones. Like it looks like the shadow that we all want when we contour, not a line. These are beautiful. They melt right into your skin. Use a very dense, almost even you could use a foundation brush, just a very dense, thicker brush, a kabuki brush even, and it'll buff right into your skin and you just have this perfect contoured chiseled looking face and it's beautiful and this is great for if you don't want that extra sheen or shine or glow this is matte it goes right into your skin you could use this for every day you could use this for a solid sculpted contoured look i mean really this could go either way every day glam it up whatever you choose they they nailed it with this one this is a beautiful beautiful product and the packaging is really cool too. This year was all about just being neutral, muted, soft, warmer colors. And I'm here for it. I like it. I hope it carries on into next year. Okay, it is time for blush, blush, blush. I have three products in front of me. The first one, let's give it up for Glow Wish. This is their Cheeky Vegan Blush Powder. This one is in the shade Healthy Peach 01. And I will admit, like I have admitted before, I did not give this one a fair chance. When I first put it on, I was just kind of like, mm, it's a cute little moment, but it's, mm, you know, I just didn't give it. I didn't really look at it, I guess you would say. And now this is like all I wear. I am obsessed with this blush. It is the perfect blush for my skin tone. If you have my skin tone, get this in Healthy Peach. This is so like your cheeks, but better. It matches my skin tone so perfectly and it gives off this nice shine that you don't even really need a highlighter. This is great for that every day. Like, her whole glow wish picture, her whole glow wish theme to look like you but better. She nailed it with this blush. It is so beautiful. The healthy peach color is absolutely, I mean, it's just flawless and it doesn't look powdery. It's so gorgeous. I cannot, I have a blush on right now, but I do want to just go in and pop a little on my cheeks because this is so pretty just that nice soft like peachy color it's beautiful i slept on this for a little while but i'm woke i'm good i'm there this blush is fabulous it looks so good the next blush that i have is from lys which stands for love yourself this is their cream blush the satin matte cream blush in the shade kindness and this color is just that perfect poppy corally pink that you just kind of want on your more flirtatious days I guess you would say do you see how poppy that color is it's definitely out there and it gives that that flirty look especially with my skin tone and it does not take much to get the color in the pan onto your cheeks. As you can see, there's the color right there. And it does not take a lot of rubbing. I mean, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. The pigment is there. The color is it's so beautiful. I love this brand. Like, it, they did so well this year. Props to LYS black owned brand and it is beautiful they are the first black owned beauty brand to meet the sephora's clean makeup guidelines they're the first black owned beauty brand to do so and that like congratulations that is absolutely amazing the next blush if you haven't guessed it come on of course i had to give pat mcgrath her little time to shine as if she doesn't get enough but her her products this is fabulous so i have to mention it Sorry about it. Sorry, not sorry. This is the Pat McGrath Divine Blush and Glow Trio. This came out later in the year, closer towards the holiday season. And these colors 
are everything this palette is so beautiful so clearly you're getting two blushes colors are beautiful flawless even the the design in the pan beautiful and then you're also getting a highlighter which of course we know that is going to be absolutely reflective and blinding and so gorgeous gotta love a good pat mcgrath highlighter you can see the reflection as the light hits it this is a steal in my book you're getting two pat mcgrath blushes and her highlighter for 52 dollars and i think her blushes are like 30 something dollars alone you're getting a good deal and the quality of pat mcgrath products it's unreal okay they are beautiful they last forever this palette is definitely one of my better smarter makeup purchases this year so i had to put it in the best of beauty 2021 Next up, I have to give Natasha Denona a big shout out for her Glam Face Palette. This is another product that came out towards the end of the year, but I have been reaching for this on the daily, like time after time after time after time after time after time. It is so beautiful. I have the light version and you're getting five eyeshadows as well as a blush and a highlighter and we all know of course this highlighter is not going to play look at that that glow is absolutely stunning and this is reaching the best of beauty for me because you can literally go from day to nighttime glam using just this palette keep it in your car with a couple of brushes or i mean you can use your fingers whatever the case may be but she made this so you could go from a daytime nice soft look to a nighttime killing them glam in 15 minutes or less my friend like this palette is so totally worth it i have not stopped reaching for it i am so serious not sponsored like this is the palette i did not think i would love it as much as i do and I'm just so obsessed. Like you can create so many looks using just what she gives you in this palette. I do like that she has, instead of eyeshadow names, she suggests where you should put the eyeshadow on your lids or on your eyes. Of course, you don't have to go by that, but it really does help, especially if you're, you know, in a hurry, if you're a beginner. This palette is everything. You can do nice, soft, matte looks. And then when you're ready, you can take the glitter, the nice shimmer sheen shades, and just throw them on your lids. And now you are glam, add some highlighter, touch up your blush, and you are good to go. This palette is so worth it. The Glam Face Light Palette. Okay, check us out. We are moving right along. The next product, let's see here. Let's go on with some eye stuff let's do mascara the mascara that i chose for the best of beauty 2021 is from rare beauty this is her perfect strokes mascara and i have fallen in love with this everything about it honestly the brush how big the brush is this is a very wet formula, so it is kind of, it's got a learning curve to it. Uh, it's, it can be messy, but once you learn to work with it, it really volumizes, separates, flutters those lashes, and gets you that perfect, your lash but better look. This is an amazing mascara. I will buy the full size. It is so beautiful. This is a mascara that I can count on for an everyday look or put on a couple extra coats for that glam mascara look. I mean, I I love it. The lashes, when you don't want to throw on falsies and you need a good lash, a good mascara, go to the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Universal Mascara. It's got your back always. Huda Beauty, welcome back to Center Stage. We are going to recognize her Life Liner Eyeliner. This is fabulous. This is the most precise small brush like it is so tea tiny it's great for practicing that precise sharp winged eye look and it's also great if you want to do that inner corner dip to make your eyes really feline really sultry looking this is perfect the pigment is there shake it before you use it get that pigment flowing get those juices going and just i mean it's a beautiful that's what i have on my eyes right now and it is so perfect every single time 
will definitely repurchase this. This is the best eyeliner of 2021, no doubt. And while we are on Huda Beauty, let's do some brow products. This is her Balm Brows Micro Shade Brow Pencil, and this is the most precise brow pencil I think I've ever worked with. This and last year, my brow pencil of the year was the Refi Brow Pencil, and I love it. I still use it all the time, but this is, I mean, these two are neck and neck. I don't, I couldn't even really tell you which one I like better. I really couldn't, but I know this one is so precise. The shade range is beautiful for your brows. And the pencil is just a hair smaller than the Refi Beauty. It is just so perfect. And you can achieve those hair-like strokes no problem. Like she absolutely killed it with this product. Of course you have the spoolie on the other end. That's a given. Um, if I had to gripe about one thing, it would just be the packaging. You have to match the lid. You have to find the sides that equal. Does that make sense? So like you can't just slide it on. You have to match the sides with the sides. That's not a big gripe, but if I had to pick one thing, it would be that. But everything else is absolutely perfect with this brow pencil. I'm obsessed. I love it. This is the brow pencil of the year. And I think it's $17, which isn't, I'm not saying that's cheap, but for a Sephora sale for Huda Beauty, that's a pretty good deal. Like I, this is a repurchase. This is my third Huda Beauty brow pencil and it's, yeah, it's bomb brows for sure. Next up, we're still on brows. This is from Too Faced, and this is their brow wig. Brush on hair fluffy brow gel. I love this product. Every single time I use this product, I think of a comment that was left when I did a review on this, and they said they opened it and thought it was a used, <laughs> thought it was used, and I don't know, I can't remember who said that, but if you watch this, you are freaking hilarious. I still think of that comment all the time, every time I pick this up. This product has so many microfibers on the brush that even if you have the thinnest, smallest brows possible, this will give you that lift. This will give you brow hairs. This will help give you that bold brow that you are looking for. I use this product almost every single day. It stays put, it stays throughout the day, and it gives that extra fluff to your brows. I have it on right now and it doesn't make it over dramatic. This is perfect, like a brow wig. Literally what it's called. It's the microfibers are fabulous. There's lots of them so you can really keep coating your brows and just get more and more bolder and bigger brows if you want. Or you can keep it cute and casual and just do one coat and get a nice fluff, a nice lift of the brows, give you a nice sharper lifted looking face. This product is beautiful. Came out in 2021 and it dominated the brow category. Now let's move on to lips. I am a sucker for lip products. This is the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Sculpting Lip Liner. This is such a beautiful product. Like I have to stand up and tell you about this product. This one is in the shade Dimitri. And for one, let's talk about the fact that it comes with this super fine sharp, precise brush. Love that. Wasn't sure when I saw that at first, how it was gonna work, what I was gonna think of it. Um, but then when I started using it, first of all, this is my favorite kind of lip liner. The pencil, like it looks like a pencil. Like a elementary school number two pencil, it looks like that. Favorite kind of lip liner, this goes on like butter. It melts into your lip. I'm telling you, I kid you not. And what you do, is you place it where you want or you place it on the outsides of your lips, the outskirts of your lips, whatever, and you take this brush and it just, I mean, it's like you're painting. I know that sounds so stupid, but the smoothness of this liner is unreal. So it just goes with your strokes and you can do your full lip or you can do a lip contour and everything has just melted together and now you've got these big, bold juicy lips if you pop a lighter color in the center. This liner is everything. Every lip shape, every lip color, the, the color range is beautiful. Everything you could want in a lip liner is this. I want all these shades now. I cannot, like he killed it 
with this one. Makeup by Mario nailed it. The pencil, the fact that the brush moves so well and works so well with this pencil liner is flawless. And the next liner that I'm absolutely in love with is from Melt Cosmetics and it is the Perfectionist Lip Ultra Precision Pencil. Looks like this. I have two shades. This one is the more brown shade. The other one, of course, you know, I had to pick up a good nice nude. This one is called Sepia and once again, it's the pencil. I have been really feeling it this year. I feel like more of the actual pencil liners came out this year and they're kind of making a little comeback. I remember seeing my mom use pencil liners, wet and wild pencil liners. And now it's like these are the thing. Get your little sharpener out and, and get to sharpening because this is what we're using now. And they are so beautiful. This one from Melt, they stay put. It doesn't have a brush on the end, but I use these to overline overline my lips and get that nice plump contoured looking lip. This is the perfect product for that. The sharpness of the pencil, the fact that it stays put. If you want to smudge it out and go all over your lip, take your finger and just do a light buffing of your lip and it works so perfectly. This liner is absolutely beautiful. This and the Makeup by Mario I will be repurchasing. Like Next up is a product from NYX. It is also a lip product but I feel like this is something I stumbled across in 2021 and not something that was released in 2021 but like I said it still counts because I began to love it in 2021. These are the Butter Glosses from NYX. And let me tell you, these are the perfect everyday glosses. They are inexpensive. They have pigment. They have high shine. These are the glosses for you. I have, these are backups. Like I have, where did they go? I lost them. Oh, they're in my pocketbook. Because I took them with me yesterday. Yeah, okay. I have backups. This one is in the shade Fortune Cookie. And then I also have Butterscotch. And these are so beautiful. They have pigment. They have shine. This one I love to pop in the center of my lips. And you can see why. It's that light nude color. And then this one here is Butterscotch. And you pop this on the outsides of your lips. And now you've got a nice contoured glossy looking lip with very minimal effort i mean these are perfect inexpensive you do have to reapply because it is a gloss it's not a liquid lipstick it's not a you know matte forever stay paint nothing like that it is a gloss so you do have to reapply but the payoff the pigment the shine the plumpness that your lips get these are so beautiful and they smell really delish Delish. Delish. Okay, we are rounding towards the end. I have two more lip products. This one is a lipstick. They actually both are a lipstick. This is from Urban Decay, and this is their new reformulated Vice lipsticks. This is their high impact vegan lipstick. These have a shine to them. This one is in the shade Oat Milk Cream, and I love this because of its soft shine. Of course, it's not a gloss but it is definitely not a matte color either. It has a nice shine on the lips and it's a thicker formula. So once you rub it in and get it in your creases, in your lips, it's going to stay put. I love this formula. I'm so glad they reformulated. Not that their other formula was bad, but it was just time. And now they've got this beautiful, creamy, nice, soft, shiny lip product. This formula is great. Shade range is great. I love this line of lipsticks. I have another shade somewhere, but I've got so much makeup, you guys. And now to keep it moving, my ultimate favorite lipstick that came out this year. You might have already guessed it. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Super Nudes. This is from her Super Nudes collection. I am obsessed with a good nude. I am obsessed with the Charlotte Tilbury lip collection. I think the whole picture idea of just that beautiful, perfect nude lip is, that's right up my alley. And she came out with these super nudes. This one is in the shade Cover Star, and it is the perfect nude. If you have my skin tone, you need this lipstick. My skin tone, this lipstick. Perfect. Match made in heaven. Absolutely just perfect. That was a little heart, by the way. <laughs> couldn't see it. This is, of course, her perfectly formulated lipstick. 
in the most perfect color ever. Cover Star is perfect if you have my skin tone. It is, I know it's hard to tell like on my hand, but that is the most beautiful nude. It is so perfect and flawless. I wear this all the time, all the time, all the time. Definitely my favorite lipstick of 2021. And now, last but not least, I do have to mention a setting spray that I'm absolutely in love with. This is bottle number two for me. And this is from Milk. This is their Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. I love it. It is not heavy. The mister, it's perfect. It's flawless. It doesn't leave spots. It sets down, it melts in with your skin, and you will notice a longer lasting wear. If you were to combine this product with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and then this spray, honestly, it's almost as good as the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. The only reason, look how much I've used. I've gotta get my backup bottle. Only reason I'm not mentioning this product is because I've already mentioned it so, so many times and it came out year before last. But you already know I love this product. This is bottle number two for me here and it is so beautiful. It locks in your makeup. You will notice the difference in how long your makeup looks and stays fresh, fresh looking. It helps your makeup stay put, locks it in, enough set. If I forgot something, I'm really sorry. But I feel like this video is long enough that sums it up for my 2021 products of the year best of beauty can't believe we are here again good grief 2022 is going to be a killer year lots in store it's going to be fantastic can't wait you guys let me know what your favorite products were down below and thank you so so much for watching hanging out with me till the end if you haven't already what are you doing subscribe Join the fam. Join the family. Let's bring in this new year together. Everything happy and holly jolly and positive. Hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.